Hi friends, it's Crafty Mama here with her latest Dollar Tree haul. Come see what I got. I got some goodies, I got some stuff for around the house, and I got some real crafty items as well. First up, I decided to try this Calder's Gourmet Real Mayonnaise. Never tried this brand yet from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to check it out and see if it's any good. If anybody else has tried it, let me know. Then I got this. This is really cool. This is Palm Olive Soft Touch in its dishwashing soap. Look at the scent. Almond milk and blueberry scent. I love blueberries. This smells so good. I'm going to want to wash the dishes more. No, not. <laughs> anyway, I also got these Sunbeam Two Frosted Bulbs. They're 100 watts, supposed to last up to five times longer than ordinary bulbs. I still like the regular bulbs like these, and this is a great deal, a buck for two. Here I picked up the Alberto VO5 Volumizer Shampoo. It boosts and amplifies. It's got biotin, and it's a five vitamin formula. Should be really good for my hair, make it look lovely. <laughs> right. This is always a rebuy for me. I love Coffee Mate creamers in my coffee. So, and I use the containers, these ones, for storage and to make stuff with. Then I got hungry and decided to pick up, I saw these planters, honey roasted peanuts. Yum! I love peanuts, peanut butter, a lot of protein there. Now, I did get this jar of Pampa Decaf Instant Coffee. It's almost three ounces. I'm not a big fan of instant coffee, but on occasion when the lights have gone out, you know, the electricity in a storm, I can still use my gas stove and make instant coffee. I can also use it for coffee dyeing my papers. And the container is great for storage beads and things as well. A three for one deal. Another thing I pick up a lot is this tool bench clear tape, which is 1.89 inches wide and 45 yards long. Great for sealing packages and doing some crafty things with two. The next thing that I picked up, and I know it's hard to see because it's black, is this Floral Garden Metal Wreath Ring that's 14 inches round. I can't decide if I want to make a fall wreath because I really don't have one, or a Christmas slash winter themed one because my Michaels box had lots of Christmas florals. I might have to go back to Dollar Tree and get another one of these wreaths. I think maybe I'll make one of each. So along with the wreath, I also got the Floral Garden Floral Wire, which is 50 feet long. And it's just that really deep, like, hunter green wire that you use with flowers if you want to kind of bunch them together or, you know, different things you can do with it. And I also got the floral tape. And this is 90 feet by a half inch wide, 90 feet long by a half inch wide. I thought this would go good with my wreath to create that and maybe put some flowers in vases and stuff, too. Now, the next items I got, I couldn't wait to get. I finally found these at my Dollar Tree. These are the LA Colors Loose Eyeshadow. It's the really shimmery, shiny ones. This one's called Sunshine. And I also managed to find this color, again, the Loose Eyeshadow. This one's called the Lollipop. Makes me want to do sunshine, lollipop, and rainbows everywhere but I know I'm not a singer I'm being goofy and the next one is this one which is grape jelly it's a deep purple now the main reason I got them is not so much to use them for eyeshadow but I saw a lot of good videos where I can make my own shimmer sprays and shimmer paste using this eyeshadow and my Dollar Tree hasn't had it for a while so I was really happy to find these three colors it's the only three colors they had I'm going to use them in my mixed media. And uh, I got a couple of recipes off YouTube I'm going to be able to try now. The other thing that I got, and these were really neat. These are Wet n Wild Glitter Single Eyeshadows. And they're really glittery. This one's called Spiked. And as you can see, Spiked right there. And then I got another one, which is, again, Wet n Wild. It's a Glitter Single and this one is like a bronzy color. It's called Brass. And what I'm going to do is the same thing with these. I'm not going to wear glitter eyeshadow. I wore it like one time way long ago and a piece of glitter got in my eye and that was not fun. But I'm going to make, see if I can make glitter sprays and glitter paste. I'm going to crush it up and see how that works. I'm going to experiment with my mixed media. Yay! It's going to be fun. I probably have a video on it too. Yay! 
yeah, when it comes to trying new crafty things, I tend to get a little excited. <laughs> um, but there is a glitter paste you can make that uses uh, it's tacky glue, one part to that, to two parts Mod Podge, and one and a half tablespoons of this LA color eyeshadow. And I can't wait to try that. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching Crafty Mama. Bye!